Hey guys, Demon Tai here again, and it probably looks like I'm wearing the same outfit over and over, but no, I'm actually recording up front kind of thing, so, I guess so. Um, Shiloh, stop. He's still up there whining. I'm gonna do some cord magic for you guys. I have two threads, one's green and one is brown. Brown is not really used often, so I decided I'm going to do a spell with brown. Might as well give it a try, because not many people are like, eh, whatever. It's just a color kind of thing, but... I think green and brown together are earth colors, and are really good for doing grounding-like spells, and, like, giving yourself time to grow. Planting yourself. For those who are beginners, I started, I'm actually, I'm starting off with, like, beginner spells and things like that. These are, like, really baby-ish spells. For those who are advanced, I'm sorry. I'm starting slow, so it's, like, a little bit bigger and bigger, blah, 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 kind of thing. And I'm going to try different techniques. So, that's why it seems so wimpy. But, get yourself a good length, like this. When doing cord magic, you can have any length, actually. You can just be, like, this big if you wanted it to be. Just find any colors you want. Whatever those colors mean to you, you can use, and you can basically do whatever you want with them. The trick is to these things, as you're tying knots, as you go along. And when you do that, you say, by the knot of the number. So how many number knots are you going to do? I'm just going to do a couple, and I'm going to make it up right on the spot, so you guys get to see a spell in the making. And yes, you can make up spells whenever you feel like it. Those people who say you can't are wrong. You can make up spells. Spells that you make up are more prone to your energy. It's more attached to it's something you've creative. created. Not creative. Created. So it's like it's the bond is stronger, and like it's amazing. And they work out much better if you make your own spells. Trust me. I've been doing this for like forever. Okay. The red and green. Stop whining. I'm doing a spell. Quiet. Stop. Stop. No. Whatever. Okay. I'm going to start with the first knot. As you can see, the two strings I had together and I cut them at the same length. Ta da, nothing special. So, oh yeah, and those people that like to open their circles and stuff like that, do it before then, kind of thing, and then you can do it and then you close your circle. For those who know what I'm talking about, I should talk about the circle closing and opening. I should do something on that. But here goes the spell. By the knot of one, I bring these two colors together. By the knot of two, I shall grow. I'm just going to put it right here. Knot of three. I need to think on this one. But now three. I am free. But now a four. Let there. Let it be clear. But now five. I shall not die. The knot six. This is it. Ta da! You tie little knots in it. I don't know if you can see them. Maybe it would focus. There you go. You can see them. Uh, that's basically it. And then you have this, and you can wear it or you can hang it up. I actually have a little green. 
for growth and it's hanging in my thing but it's on my other side where my bed is so it's on my window hanging and I have another one to put up to hang that's where I've been putting them more up in my window I'm hoping I have enough of them hey knock it off he's biting himself like a butthole Yes, so I hope you enjoyed the little cord spell. And yes, you can make as many knots as you want. You can say what you like. Uh, like you write yourself, like normally I write something out. And then I go along with that. Make sure it sounds right. I don't even know. But another growth spell. And then you just kind of tie it off and wear it or hang it. Or just carry it the way it is. I used to have a whole bunch of different cord spells that I did. And I wore them around my ankle. I like eight of them or nine of them, something like that. I had like ten. I think it was ten of them I had around my ankle at one point. And I finally took them off because they were wearing out and getting all icky. I don't know whatever happened to them after that. I think I threw them away. But it's alright. If they get thrown away, your spells are still out there free somewhere. Or you can bury them. You can um, give them just people. I used to do that for like my friends and stuff. I'd make little cord spells and then I'd give it to them. For like luck or protection. Or just happiness. Um, yeah. There you go. Growth spell. Woo! A random one I just made on the spot. You guys can have fun with this. And play around with it. And do whatever you want with it. And to let me know what you guys do with it. By comment down below and let me know. Thumbs up if you liked the video. And hashtags are down below. Because there's a lot of them. And I'm working on getting them linked or whatever. I'm not sure what I'm doing with that yet. But here, have fun with these. Let me know how you did. Or you can just talk to me on one of the social medias of what you did with them. So, thanks for watching, guys.